Hey everybody, in this video I am going to try and create the transfer fork using Inventor 2024. So the first thing that I want to do is I am going to go up to where you see new. And I'm going to left click it. I'm going to use the English template. So I'm going to go to English folder, standard IPT. Click on the create button. And then the first thing that I want to do is I am going to start a 2D sketch on the XY plane here. And I'm just going to kind of create the shape of kind of like the front bottom half part, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to draw a line and I'm just going to draw a line just randomly anywhere. So this is going to go over to the right, let's say 3.5. And I'm going to go straight up. This one, I want this to be 1.5. And I'm going to go a little angle to the left here. And then I'm just going to draw a straight line over here. I'm not worried about the dimensions here. Draw an angle here to make sure I'm kind of above where the end of this line is. You can see a little dash line pop in. Let me know that I'm in line with it. So I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to connect it to the end. I'm going to right click, hit OK. So we kind of have the basic shape of what I'm looking for, but our dimensions are, are not correct right now. So what I want to do is I'm going to add the dimensions to kind of make this shape what we're looking for. So what I want to do is I am going to add a dimension to this left side line here. And I want to make it equal to this. So I'm just going to, instead of typing in a dimension here, I'm just going to click this dimension here and press the check mark. And now both of those are equal. And then what I want to do is I am going to dimension to the top of this line, to this line, and that's going to be 2.25. Hit the check mark there. And so now I kind of need to make this kind of centered, but I want to dimension this line here first. That's going to be 1.75. And then let me dimension from this corner to this corner. And that's going to be 0.875. I did the math beforehand, so kind of figured all this out. Okay, so then what I want to do is I want to kind of make sure that this is kind of centered. So to do that, I'm going to go to the concentric or coincident. I keep calling it concentric. It's coincident constraint. I'm going to look for the middle of this line here. So where that green dot pops in, I'm going to select it. I'm going to select the origin. And so now you can see that we are fully constrained here and I have all the dimensions. So what I want to do now is I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I want to extrude this shape. And I just like to, to I like to extrude it kind of equal in both directions. So I'm going to use a symmetric direction here. And for my distance, that's going to be five. I'm going to click the OK button there. And from here, there's a couple of ways that I could, I, there's a couple of directions I could go, but I think what I want to do is I am going to start my 2D sketch on this front face of this kind of form here. Wait, let me do that again. Start 2D sketch on this face there. That's what I want. And then I'm just going to create this kind of a, like a arch kind of shape cut out here in the front. So I'm going to go up to line Actually, what I'm going to do is let me use rectangle. So I'm going to go to rectangle. Go to two points. So I'm going to just kind of draw a rectangle from here. Kind of go straight up a little bit. I don't worry about the dimensions right now. Because right now I'm going to add the dimensions to it. So once I've created that rectangle, this right here is going to be 0.75 on this side. And I want to make sure that this is centered. 
So from this origin to this line, I'm going to drag this down. So that has a radius of one. So this needs to be actually this. Yeah, this needs to be one. And then what I can do is dimension this whole width here. That's going to be two. And so now what I can do is I'm going to kind of draw a half circle. So the easiest way that I usually draw a half circle is I'm going to actually use a line. So I'm going to left click on this corner and then I'm going to click it again and hold the left mouse button down as I drag up and over to the right and kind of click it on this other end point here. And that kind of, that's creates a half circle for me. So, um, then what I can do is I can just finish my sketch here. I was thinking about erasing that line, but we can leave that. So I then want to extrude this and this all the way through. So I'm going to, I selected those two shapes. I'm going to go direction, flip it. I want to make sure that I'm cut and we're going to go all the way through and then click on okay. So there's that part. So we got kind of like a, a dog house or maybe an airplane hanger. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But um, what I can do now is I'm going to go to my origin folder here. And I am going to look for the plane that goes right through the middle vertically. That, that YZ plane. I'm going to right click and make it visible. So I'm just going to select it. And what I want to do now is I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this plane. And I can, if you go down here in this little status menu bar thingy. I'm going to click on where you see slice graphics. So that kind of cuts the, the front part out of the way so we can kind of, we're going to draw the shape of the, the top half on here. We're going to extrude that. So what I want to do is I am going to draw a line from this end. Let me draw this straight up by 1.25 and then draw it over to the right. That has a radius of 0.5. So I need to draw it over to the right by one. And then I'm going to go down by, let's see, what is that going to be? Um, 0.5. Oops, I wanted a straight line. Let me get rid of that. I'll draw a straight line. Straight down. What did I say that was? 0.5. There we go. Now over to the right. That's going to be, let me do some math here. That's going to be 5 minus 1 minus 1. So that's going to be 3. And we go back up straight up. This is going to be 0.5. Then I'm going to go over to the right by one. Actually, it did work out straight down, straight down to this corner. And then I'm going to, I could project that line, but I'm just going to draw a line from one end to the other. There we go. So then I, what I want to do is I'm going to draw another half circle on, on this side. So again, I'm using my little trick. So I'm going to do line. I'm going to left click once, left click twice and hold and drag it up and over like so. Hit the escape key. Um, then what I can do is I'm trying to think, yeah, I can just go ahead and finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude this shape. I'm going to make sure I grab that and also the half circle. And I'm going to extrude this equally in both directions. So the symmetrical option, and I want that to be a distance of the same as this top flat piece here. So that's going to be 1.75. And I'm going to hit the OK button. 
so we're kind of getting that rounded into shape. Um, what I can do here is I can start a 2D sketch on this face here. I'm just going to draw a circle where that center point is right there. And I'm going to make that a diameter of 0.5. Hit the escape key, finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude this circle. I'm going to cut it all the way through. Hit OK. All right, so now we're getting there. So now what I want to do is I am going to, I'm going to turn off the visibility of that YZ plane. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out some void. So I'm going to go to Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to select this front face here. And I'm going to draw a rectangle, two point. I'm going to draw it kind of way up here at the top and just kind of drag it down to where it kind of locks into this corner here. And draw it over like so. And then I can just dimension this. So this opening here is going to be 0.75. And again, I'm just going to click this and drag it up. So this line, I'm going to see if I can constrain this. I'm going to use a horizontal constraint from this corner here to this flat. And it says I couldn't do that. So, okay, let me see if I can drag this up. What I'll do is I'll just dimension it from here to here. And I'm going to make that zero here to here. I'm going to make this zero. And then I want to dimension from the center origin here to one of my edges. And I want, I want this dimension to be whatever this dimension is divided by two. So there we go there. And then I can finish my sketch. It says I need one more dimension needed. I need the height really, but the height is gonna, just as, as long as the height is kind of going way over the top of my piece here, that's really what I want. So I'm gonna finish my sketch. I'm gonna extrude this rectangular box here. I'm gonna go back, flip it all the way through, make sure it's cut, hit okay. So there's that. And then all we need to do now is kind of do the same thing that we did there to the side here and kind of cut it all the way through. So I am going to start a 2D sketch on, I can just do it on this face here. And again, I'm going to draw a rectangle two point. I'm going to draw it below my object here and I want it to go all the way up to here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it go all the way up to there yet because I'm going to go short so I can dimension from this line to this line. I gotta make that zero. So now it kind of locks in there. And then the sides are gonna be from this edge to this edge. That's 0.75. Same thing over here. And I'm just gonna click this dimension so they're equal. And as long as that goes down past below it, uh, I'm looking at that. Yeah, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna finish sketch here. I'm gonna extrude this, make, make sure I grab all of these. I really don't need that bottom one, but I'm gonna flip it, make sure it's cut all the way through, and hit OK. So there is our fancy smancy transfer fork. So, and then it wants us to kind of add cast iron to it. So to add cast iron, I'm going to go up to where you see it's in here, here. click the little arrow and look for cast iron in the kind of drop down menu here. So cast iron here. Um, if you're interested, uh, if you want it where it says what the what is the volume so the volume if I want to go up to 
I can actually right click on the part one here and go to I properties. Drag my box over and then I'm going to go to physical tab. You want to make sure you click update. And so your volume is going to be 11.18, 11.168 cubic inches. That's the number that I got. So, um, if y'all do that, see if y'all get the same number and I'm going to close it make sure you save it. I know I've done this already before, but I didn't save it from last time. So I'm just going to call this transfer fork, hit the save button and there we go. All right. So I hope that helps and hope to see y'all back in the next video. All right. Peace out.